Hey everyone, it's Tanya and Dave, and we're back for another Las Vegas video. Now we've had a lot of Las Vegas first timers ask us what are some things they can do to make their experience in Las Vegas that much more enjoyable. So we're bringing you 21 things every first timer must do when visiting Las Vegas. We will cover not only must do activities that a Las Vegas first timer should not miss, but also tips to both save you money and make your trip to Las Vegas a lot more fun. That's right, we're gonna cover key Las Vegas activities you don't wanna miss during your trip to Las Vegas. All right, roll the intro. First up, when you're planning your trip to Las Vegas, we recommend first-timers stay at a hotel and casino on the Las Vegas Strip. Why? Because there's a lot to do on the Las Vegas Strip, and it's much more convenient than being somewhere off of the Strip. Now, while a downtown hotel is an option, we would recommend first-timers stay on the Las Vegas Strip, but visit the downtown area. Well, that might bring you to this next question. Well, where the heck, gosh dang it, can I stay on that Las Vegas Strip? The Strip is about four miles long, and we recommend that first-timers stay at a hotel located closer to Center Strip, where you will be much closer to the action and the sights and not have long walks back and forth to your hotel that's gonna tire you out, and more importantly, take up precious time. Now, you shouldn't think you can't get good value for your money on the Las Vegas Strip. There are hotels and casinos on the Strip for every budget. Some of our favorites, not sponsored, include on the luxury side, the Cosmopolitan for its amazing rooms with balconies and incredible energy, and the Aria, which is a bit quieter than the Cosmo with very modern rooms. Now on the more budget side, Bally's, now becoming Horseshoe, has been one of our all-around budget-friendly favorites, as well as the renovated rooms in the Flamingo, which is a very nice and popular resort pool. Just make sure you are getting a recently renovated room if you choose the Flamingo. We have more detailed videos walking through all of our favorite hotels, both luxury and budget options, right here that you can check out after this video or just check the link in the description box below. Now, before you book your stay, make sure you join the Las Vegas Hotel and Casinos Loyalty Reward Programs, which are not just for gambling, not at all. You'll earn program credits for your activities, including bookings at hotels, restaurants, and of course, gambling. You'll also likely get access to better room rates once you join the program, as well as discounts for shows and other activities. The Cosmopolitan, for example, has been offering $99 room rates with no resort fees consistently throughout the year for their loyalty members, even with no status. Before you arrive, we recommend making reservations in advance at any popular restaurants or other activities that you want to try during your stay. Some of the more popular restaurants can book up far in advance. If you are a Gordon Ramsay fan, for example, Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen at Caesars Palace tends to be booked up far in advance, so make those reservations early. Thinking about renting a car? Well, for a while after Las Vegas reopened from the shutdown in June of 2020, parking was mostly free on the Las Vegas Strip. And over time, many casinos, including MGM and Caesars Properties, have reinstituted parking fees unless you have certain loyalty status with the property. So consequently, for first timers, we would generally not recommend renting a car during your first visit. Now, there are many convenient and relatively cheaper ways of getting around Las Vegas. For most, Uber or Lyft will be the best option, convenient and roughly 20 to 30 percent cheaper than taxi fares. Now, you can hit most of the first timer Las Vegas activities easily by either walking walking or a short Uber ride. But then there's also the public bus, the Deuce, which is a very popular and cheap way to get around. So what do you need to pack first timers? Well, let me tell you, Las Vegas is a desert environment. So while the days can be very hot, the evenings when the sun goes down can be very cool and sometimes downright cold, especially late fall through early spring. So make sure you bring a sweatshirt or light jacket if you are traveling during that time. The air conditioning in the casinos and other venues can be very strong as well, so you might want that extra layer regardless. Like I always say, pack in layers. Now this next tip is very important. You'll be doing a lot of walking during your visit to Las Vegas, especially along the Las Vegas Strip, checking out the sights and the sounds and the smells and the drinks. So you must bring and wear comfortable walking shoes. I repeat, comfortable walking 
shoot. We can't tell you the number of times we've seen people walking the strip visibly in pain as they walk around their fancy shoes. So bring comfortable shoes because you are going to walk a lot. Trust us. All right, Las Vegas newbies, let's talk about some of the activities you must do when visiting Las Vegas. And first up, let's head out on the Las Vegas Strip and take a leisurely stroll down the Las Vegas Boulevard to enjoy some of the sights and sounds along the way. For first timers, there's nothing quite like experiencing the energy of the Las Vegas Strip from the people to the sights and the sounds just by walking, especially along the center of the Las Vegas Strip. We recommend that you head out in the early evening as the sky is transitioning from day to night. It's always an amazing sight to see the Las Vegas lights and skyline really light up as the sun sets. We have a few favorite spots to see this transition, including at the Venetian along their balcony walkway overlooking the strip. You have a great view of the mountain and the lights really kicking off in Las Vegas. Absolutely, that's we really enjoy that spot. And another one of our truly favorite spots is Caesars Palace right outside that gazebo area, the one that kind of catty corners the four corners of the Las Vegas Strip. And it's absolutely beautiful, especially when you're with your honey bunnies. So you can just, if, if you're with your honey bunnies, if you're with the best friend, it's still a great spot, but. But you're with your honey bunny. I'm with my yeah, honey bunny. <laughs> Now make sure you visit some of the iconic European themed sites while you explore the strip. You need to check out the Venetian and the canal. The artwork and attention to detail will transport you to a different experience, well worth experiencing this as a first timer. Now make sure you take some photos at the famous love sign inside the Venetian, visit St. Mark's Square, listen to the gondoliers serenading their guests in the canals, and then after all that, Head over to the Paris and enjoy the view of the Eiffel Tower and perhaps sit down for a crepe inside the creperie along the Paris streets. The casinos along the Strip also offer some amazing art right out in the open, free for all to see. A couple of our favorites and ones that you should not miss are the blown glass art blossoms on the ceiling in the Bellagio lobby and the carved woolly mammoth tusk at Treasure Island. Now that is just incredible. Now you cannot miss the Bellagio Conservatory and Botanical Gardens across the Bellagio lobby from the front desk. Each season the conservatory is transformed into a new amazing experience and is a must see for first timers in Las Vegas. Now if you really want to splurge on a special meal, you can, you can also now actually opt for the new conservatory dining experience where you actually dine at a table inside the conservatory. Not cheap, but a truly memorable experience. And that brings us to our next must-do activity, and that is to check out the free iconic shows along the Las Vegas Strip, including the Bellagio Fountain Show and the Mirage Volcano Show, which, as of the date of this video, is still running. Now, the Bellagio Fountain Show will go off every 30 minutes, seven days a week, up until 8 p.m. at night, and then after 8 p.m., it's actually every 15 minutes. So definitely check that out. As newbies, you've got to see it. And a quick pro tip. If you're not sure when the Bellagio Fountain Show is going off, just look up at the Paris Eiffel Tower. Their tower tends to be in sync with the Bellagio Fountain Show, whether it's already started or just before it starts. So look up at the Eiffel Tower. You just might catch the Bellagio Fountain Show. Now, just to let you know about the Mirage Volcano Show, you may already know this, that the Hard Rock has acquired the Mirage, and at some point, that volcano show will be going away and a guitar hotel will be erected in its place. But in the meantime, if you want to enjoy the Mirage Volcano Show, just know this, that during the summer months, it happens four times, between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. And in the winter, it starts at seven o'clock, so between seven and 10. Now, quite often, they may add an extra show in there just to give you that umph of the love of the volcano show because it will be going away at some point. So babe, before we go on, let's tell them about the question of the day. That's a good idea. All right, so we have been reading a ton of your comments and they've been amazing. And on top of that, some of you have been leaving some really great suggestions that we think a lot of folks would like to know. So stick around because at the end of this, we're gonna ask you a question of the day and we're gonna pick one of you to feature in our upcoming videos. Yeah, and the question of the day is not going to be what happened to these glasses. No, he got that's a wrestling. question. Him and his glasses got into a wrestling match and apparently Dave no, won. That's no, a fashion trend, come on. <laughs> Everyone's doing it. <laughs> Maybe they will, like wearing pants backwards. <laughs> hey, take a second if you haven't done so. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers, you guys. Thank you so much for the tremendous support. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get notified every time we go live or post a video. We would greatly appreciate that. 
Now, speaking of dining experiences, make sure you enjoy brunch or breakfast at one of the great restaurants on the Strip. Now, it's no secret our favorite breakfast and brunch spot on the Las Vegas Strip is at Monomiga B. And I must tell you, dining at Monomiga B offers an additional experience. If you're interested in seeing the Bellagio Fountain Show while dining, it's basically an up-close and personal preview of the iconic Fountain Show right across the street. Now, a quick pro tip, we highly recommend requesting their patio seating. While you can make reservations for inside, you cannot for the patio. So get there early, get your name on their waiting list, and they'll actually text you once your table is ready. Now, we've done a full review of our experience having breakfast at Monami Gabi. You can check that out right here. Now make sure to check out a true Las Vegas iconic show from Cirque du Soleil. Las Vegas is a place to see Cirque du Soleil shows. In our opinion, the Cirque du Soleil shows in Las Vegas are simply better than what you'll generally find with any of their traveling shows. Now, next up, you've got to spend time poolside at your resort pool or at a day club. Las Vegas resort pools and day clubs are legendary and there are options for every type of traveler. If you are looking for the party scene, Consider some of the more popular day clubs like Encore Beach Club, Tao Beach Day Club, or the newer IU Day Club at Resorts World. Or you can always enjoy a more relaxing time at your resort pool enjoying a margarita. And if you're curious about some of those hidden gym restaurants in the downtown area, well, we have a video for you as well that you can check out right here in the description box below. When you're in Vegas, make sure you treat yourself and enjoy a special dinner at one of the many great restaurants in Las Vegas. And some of our favorites include Las Vegas steakhouses with an old school vibe, such as Barry's Downtown Prime at Circa or Oscar's at the Plaza. But there are options for everyone. All right, let's check out one of the great magic shows here in Las Vegas. Some notable options include David Copperfield at MGM Grand, Shin Lim at Mirage, Penn and Teller at Rio, Chris Angel at Planet Hollywood, Mind Freak, Piff the Magic Dragon at Flamingo, and Nathan Burton Comedy Magic at Planet Hollywood. All right, so now it's time for the question of the day. <laughs> The question of the day. So the question of the day is, for those of you that are coming to Las Vegas for the first time, or for those that can remember your first time coming to Las Vegas, let us know what you looked forward to the most and why. And we will pick someone to feature in one of our upcoming videos. So babe, what were you most excited about in your first first visit? Oh, um, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> oh, that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Las Vegas Boulevard. Boulevard. Let's try it again. Las Vegas Boulevard. Take three. Four. Action. Oh, okay. <laughs> Action. Cut. Action. Three. Wait. Action. No. No. Action. Start again. You're wasting. You're wasting. <laughs> then enjoying the Fuscasca. You're playing in Delux. That's a wrap. <laughs> the Las Vegas Strip. Oh, Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> nice glasses, by the way, my dear. Oh, come on, you can't see that. Come on. <laughs> here we go, okay. Oh, and quick pro tip if you're in. <laughs> That's a good tip. And there is one more thing you need to know. That's right. Take a second, hit that subscribe button because we are this close to 100,000 subscribers. And again, thank you all so much for the tremendous support you've shown this channel. We really do appreciate it. Hit that notification bell because it allows you to one, not only know when we're popping on a video, but when we go live. And one last thing, if there is some uh, fun, top cheap eats that you wanna know about, It'll be right here in this video. So hit that right there. Check it out right there. Hit I think. that video right there. Be right about I'll, there. I'll, I'll stay right here for a second until they hit right it. There, there it is. Top cheap eats. Right there. Right there. All right, you guys. We'll see you in the next one.